Love and light, family. Peace and blessings. I got another little hot track from an underdog, underground chick named Chica. Check it out. I'm tired of thinking so much. Lately, that's why I've been drinking so much. Been facing my demons for months. Now they just chill with me, die on this hill with me. Maybe if I can become what the world really wants, then I'll get a break. Guess in the meantime, I focus on me time. I try not to dwell on how much that it takes. So let all the bullshit roll out for me. Hoping the world can just stop for me. Give me a second. I'm fucking tired of taking the everyday pain and contorting it into a lesson. When I'm audacious enough to just say what I want, now I'm too busy blocking my blessings. The standards are doubled and triple quadruple, but somehow I'm crazy for sitting and stressing. Wow, guess I'm a brat. Guess I'm a self hating bitch because I love being rich but don't want to be fat. Fuck a description. I'm too busy wishing on stars like I want to be that. A regular woman who walked through the world with no weight on her back. No pun intended. Hell yes, I'm offended. My body don't do shit but rap. I'm not a token, a hero. Fuck that. Bitch, I'm just breathing. Lately, I think for a reason. Also, I finally get why the leaves are all dead and this life is in dark for a season. Even the world need a rest. Even the world get depressed. It's not really nothing but rain in the cold, but we dancing it like it's the best. Give me the answer. This feel like a test. <laughs> not for real. I don't know. So many places I want to go. So many people I want to meet. I'm in my apartment, not trying to eat. I just want to walk on the fucking street without thinking about how much I weigh. I mean, just for a day, love the ground is abundant me. Listen, I get it. My size is embedded in everything that I produce for you niggas. None of y'all know me. Y'all not fucking homies. I'm tempted to just let it loose on you niggas. Not an election, so start a projection. No vote. I just rap in the booth for you niggas and get on my phone and start feeling alone. I got issues and that is the truth for you niggas. Exclusive for niggas. I ain't in the business of coding my trauma and sugar. Everyone says if I look like a ten and my problems were any, yeah, maybe they would've. They would be over. No criticism to show I could just fucking exist without being praised for wearing my face. But ain't nothing brave about looking like this. I'm just a girl who's after a dream. And I'm crushing the scene. What a fuck with my head. Cause I wanna be seen. I just wanna be loved. If I'll never be lean. But I'm fucking over forgiving the ones who offend cause I know what they mean. Shada said, I just wanna be loved. Even if I never be lean. that girl fire check out you know you guys i'm gonna definitely be um bringing you guys some fire from um the underground people who's you know underrated people who's who's not really known people you don't really hear about the young lady her name is chica you can go check out on instagram you just put in the search engine she'll come up she got a um, huge following um you know, I listen to a few of her songs, you know, and when you check out, you just see everything she say is coming from an authentic place. Anyway, today is my sixth day of my mucilage fast. Uh, my fasts consist of water and only six ounces of juice per day. And my juices consist of alkaline vegetables. Now go online and Google alkaline, alkaline food. You can, either, you can even type in Dr. Sabi nutritional guide. And I'm not saying that everything on his, you, you just have to follow that list strictly. But I'm saying if you're a beginner and you want to learn how to eat alkaline foods or learn what foods are al um, alkaline, you know, just you can start off with that. It's a good start. Anywho, today I want to, you know, touch bases on, guess what I'm going to talk about today. figured it out yet give your own self a pat on the back you know a lot of times we are looking for accolades we're looking for attention we're looking for people to support us we're looking for people now let me let me say this when I say support I mean we're looking for people to take out the time give us acknowledgement for what we're doing let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, kings and queens. When you go hard on yourself, you ain't got to work. Listen, it's going to all fall in place. When you put the energy, the energy that you want people to give you, when you put that energy into yourself, your light going to shine. You, you know, I, I, don't, I don't want you guys to be so focused on I have to get approval from other people in order to be somebody or in order to be successful or in order to be recognized. No, let me tell you something. That self-love, when you when you when you go hard on yourself, when you work towards yourself, when you make goals and you write them down and you follow through, guess what? You're gonna attract people gonna you're gonna attract, you're gonna be like a magnet. People going to want to listen to you. People going to want to see you. People going to want to support you because they're going to want to be a part of that light. They're going to they're gonna be up under your umbrella. 
But first, you got to create your own umbrella. You understand what I'm saying? You got to create your own safe haven. You got to be the one who love yourself so much that throughout the day, you spend the time on yourself. You investing in yourself. When you wake up in the morning, you, you, the first thing you're doing is spending time with yourself. Not getting your phone and going online. Not getting your phone and, and, and checking to see if somebody likes your status. Stop being overly concerned about what other people think of you and pat your own self on the back when you, when you make accomplishments. Let me tell you something. That glow is going to shine so bright when you focus on you. A lot of times we get so caught up with, you know, because we stars. We stars. All of us, are, we're stars. So we get so caught up on the shine, on this external motivation and other people's approval that we lose ourselves. We'll, we'll end up getting washed up in other people's opinions about us. If we get enough likes on our Facebook or, it, or, or, or we get enough followers on our Instagram. And we actually measure our success and measure who we are based on what another cat think about us. You see what I'm saying? And that can cause a lot of confusion. It can cause depression. It can cause you doing too much to get attention. And so when you give yourself that attention and that love and that time, that quality time, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give you some examples. In the, in the rising, early rises, I get up. When I bathe, I take my time bathing. You understand me? I'm washing every piece, every part of my body from head to toe. I'm not rushing in the shower trying to hurry up and, you know, bathe so I can get. No. I'm taking my time. I make sure I get up early enough so I can spend that time with myself, that quality time with myself in the a.m. When I'm putting on my lotions and my, or my, you know, whatever, you know, my moisturizers and my creams and I take my time. I tell myself, I, I love, I love you, Tiffy. I, I love you the way you are. Your body is so beautiful. I love your skin, Tiffy. I love who you are. I accept you for who you are. And, you know, we have to build, especially if you come from a household and you didn't get that love. Because I'm telling you, most of the time, this stems from the lack of attention coming up. A lot of times, some women have daddy issues. Some men have mama issues. And they lack that genuine love and attention from home. So when they get older, they expect external attention. And if you didn't get that love and that attention and that affection that you're supposed to have been got at home, it's your responsibility now to do it for yourself. It's your responsibility. When you get knowledge, when you know better, you do better. When you get knowledge of how to elevate and how to grow and how to really love yourself, you, it's your responsibility because you're going to keep attracting situations that are going to make you level up. And if you keep failing the test, you're going to keep having to take the test over and over again. And you're going to keep having these experiences of feeling lonely, feeling deserted, feeling neglected. You're going to feel like that because you're not spending that quality time with yourself. Think about it. We put so much energy into other people. We put so much energy. I mean, and that's literally what you're doing. When you get up first thing in the morning and you don't even have no type of ritual or regime or anything that's concerning you and you and your time alone, you're giving other people your energy. Seriously. You're going online and you're looking to see whether or not your message was approved by other people instead of just being content with yourself. And like I said, that goes back to self-love. That goes back to making sure you have some positive affirmative affirmations and then following with affirmative actions. And what I mean by that, when I look myself in the mirror and I say, I am enough, I act like I am enough. I rub my body like I'm enough. I spend time with myself and, and do some reading and do some meditation like I am enough. It's, it's implementation. 
I, I show, I put out in the universe that no, this, this, this technology is not my first priority when I wake up. I put out in the universe that I, me, is more important and then whatever that's going on outside of me. I'm more important than that status. I'm more important than the comments. I'm more important than the shares. It's that self-love that you have to give yourself and be content. And when you content in your state and when you start learning and loving yourself more, guess what? You're going to do things that's going to that's gonna be loving towards yourself. For example... I'm 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 on this fast. And the reason why I'm taking this 21 day fast because I want to give back to myself. I want to give my organs a break. You know, you know we overwork our organs by, you know, eating so much, drinking so much, you know, just doing so much. And we we don't honor our body, and our body is the one that keeps us going. We don't honor our feet. We don't sit and take the time to massage our own feet. We'll go somewhere and let somebody else do it. Just, just, just try it. Try sitting with yourself and bathing instead of showering two or three times out the week. I mean, make sure after you, after you bathe, make sure you take a shower now and rinse that stuff off now. But seriously, you have to take out the time with yourself. And show yourself that love and you're going to attract abundance. And what I mean abundance, a, 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 a many opportunities, great opportunities that are going to help you reach your highest potential. And, and like I said, with the 21-day with the fast that I'm on, you know, my thing is to, I know when I fast and I let go of external things. And I'm not fasting just only from food. I'm fasting from foolishness. I'm not sexually active right now not listening to you know things that's lower vibrational like when i when i bring in this music i just you know my thing is is a lot of people who's underground and unrecognized and i just want to recognize them but and and they have put in the work they don't know me i don't know them but i see what they're doing and i can appreciate that self-love i can appreciate that authenticity I can appreciate people who's genuine because it's me. It's a reflection of myself. You know, like a young lady said, you know, she's struggling with her weight. You know, she just want to be accepted. But a lot of times when you overeat and when you eat so much, it's a self thing. It, it's, a, it's a lack of self-love because when you love yourself, you're going to put the right things in your body. You're going you're gonna to entertain the things that's going to help you be a better person. You're going to you're going to say positive affirmations when you wake up in the morning to remind you of your royalty and your queendomship. Queendomship. I made some shirts. <laughs> it's going to remind you of your kingdomship. It's going to remind you of who you are when you take out the time and write down a list of things that you need to work on. You know, let me tell you something, you guys. I'm going to give you a personal experience. I remember it was a few years ago and I had tapped into like a, a great amount of money. Okay. What you guys would consider a check. Okay. And my insides, I, 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 was, I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't satisfied with myself before I tapped into that income. I, I wasn't really, I didn't love myself and how I knew because I always invested into materialistic things. I, you know, had the latest bins. I'm, I'm, I'm riding first class every, everywhere I go. <laughs> you know, I spend some first class is international. I was, trying to seek this attention and this validation from people who didn't really give a damn about me. But I didn't know. I didn't know that I didn't love myself. I just thought that, you know, hey, I deserve this for the hard work that I put in. I deserve to do this. And I'm not saying anything wrong with that, but it's different when your motives behind buying it is because you're trying to prove a point. And it's deriving from fear. When your ambition is coming from fear, 
it has a domino effect and you start having other situations that will cause you to be in fear. And I, I'm, but one of the things I'm happy that I did, I started traveling. And when I started traveling, I started, you know, the first place I went to was Africa. Well, Dubai, but I stayed longer in Africa. And when I went there, I saw how confident these women were with nothing. I sat and watched how the women take their time and oil their body down, their feet, their hands, you know, how soft they spoke when they, they didn't have to raise their voice when they spoke. You heard them. And they speak at a very low tone. I didn't, I didn't get that. I thought I had to be loud. I thought I had to, you know, be aggressive to get my point across. And I, and I tapped into something. I found out that I didn't love Tiffy. I didn't, I didn't accept myself for who I am. I was looking for outside approval. And when I didn't get it, I get pissed off. And I say people hating. And people just hating me because I done came up from nothing. And that wasn't even the case. It's just that it was my vibrations. People can feel when you're heavy and, or when you light. And when I say light and heavy, I'm talking about spiritual. I'm talking about energy-wise. People can tell when you, when you talk whether or not it's coming from an authentic place or if it's coming from fear. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? So, you know, that's my personal testimony. And I had to go through a, a, a transition. I had to go through, actually, the universe. This, because this is what I requested. I requested to, to, to have compassion, to love myself, to grow spiritually, to be more patient. I, I requested that from the universe. I requested that. And then I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for what the universe gave me. I wasn't ready. It tore me down. I lost everything. Everything. I'm going to tell you guys about that story in another video, but I want to stay focused on, you know, you guys loving yourself and, and, and giving your own self that praise and that appreciation. And it starts with you. Nobody else. You may not ever get it from your mom. You may not ever get it from your dad. You may not ever get the love that you're looking for, for your lover, from your lover. You may not. So when you start loving yourself, you wouldn't be so needy. <laughs> I'm just being real. Your, 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 your mind change. Your perception, the way you perceive things, it, it, it changes. Because the love start becoming more, um, you start fulfilling that void by the things that you do and the time that you spend with yourself. You, you, you get it? So love yourself. Appreciate you where you at right now. And if you don't like and you're not content, well, I'm going to say this. If you're not totally satisfied with your state, whatever it may be, it can be your mind state. It can be your patience. It can be your emotional state. It can be your body, your physical state. If you're not content with it, write down the list and start working towards it. You see, instead of expecting other people to give you these accolades and praises, it's coming, love. It's going to be your time to shine. But first, you need to invest in yourself. Invest that time and energy in yourself. Lay off, lay off the, 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 the social media so much. Stop depending so much on how somebody receives what you're saying. As long as you're authentic, as long as you're genuine, and you coming from a loving place, somebody going to hear it and you're going to help somebody with your testimony. You feel me? Love and light family. This is a beautiful Sunday. I'm excited. I'm about to go out and um, go to Lamert Park. That's like my little favorite spot right now on Sundays. I go out and... and um, you know, engage with the people. It's so cultural, so beautiful. 
I can wear my African attire and just be content, don't have to worry about nobody looking at me crazy, like, what is she got on? <laughs> Being in Beverly Hills, even though people uh, uh, accept it, but it's like, people look at you like, <laughs> what does she got on? <laughs> Where she come from? You know, so I'm going to a place where, you know, it's, it's accepted. And people love it. And, you know, I love wearing my African attire. I love, I mean, I, it, it just makes me feel so good to wear my wraps and my long dresses. It's feel beautiful. And that's how you should feel. You should feel beautiful with what you love. Go around people who accept you for who you are. You don't have to stick around in places and force yourself on other people. Love thyself. Peace and blessings.